You see, I answer my phone almost to any call with the expectation of if I don't know your number, I'm probably going to hang up on you real quick. The only thing that I know is that the phone call was from Ohio, and I think her name was like Brenda. So if it's Brenda, thank you, Brenda. So Brenda called me and said, is this Steven? And I was like, this is? Who is this? She's like, oh, hi, I'm, I think Brenda. Brenda from Macy's, and I just wanted to confirm that you tried to order two Apple Watches this morning? And I was like, no, not me. She's like, so you didn't try to spend $848 this morning on two Apple Watches from Macy's? I was like, nope, wasn't me. She's like, well, I think someone has your credit card info then, and you should probably call your credit card company and let them know. I'm just going to cancel this order, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. So what did I do? I called my credit card company. Now, I don't know if that's Macy's protocol, or if that was just an awesome employee, but they just saved me a lot of hassle. Not just that, when I called my credit card company, they had tried to spend $850 on two Apple Watches from Macy's, and they tried to do two identical $1,500 purchases from Best Buy. So, had Macy's not called me, all of that potentially would have gotten through. So not only did Macy's cancel the order before it even went through, my credit card company was able to cancel the orders before the businesses got a product stolen and me having to file a fraudulent report to get my money back. See, I probably wouldn't have caught on to them stealing from me until I looked at the bank statement, my credit card statement, at the end of the month. By then, they probably would have had their stuff already in the mail and... I would have already had the money taken from me, and everybody loses except the person who did that. For someone to just try to steal my money, the money that I work so hard to bring home for my livelihood to support my family, frustrates me. But enough of the negativity. The deed is done, there's nothing I can do about that, and this video is meant to have a more positive message. Macy's didn't have to call me whenever they saw the $848 purchase. Uh, they could have let it go. They didn't have to send me a letter telling me that they were going to cancel the order they did on the phone, but they did anyway. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thank you Macy's.